Welcome to the movies, pal. Your friendly neighborhood, Master Chaos, back with you once again. I'm glad you're back. It's really great to see you. I hope you're doing well. Gosh, look at you. Would you do me a favor? You know, I was just saying the other day to Mistress Chaos that I I, I miss your smile. So would you do, would you give me a smile? Let, let me see it. Let me see it. Oh, yeah, there it is. And by the way, if you're not smiling, I can still see it deep down in your soul. Deep down in your soul. That's the power of YouTube. I can see your smile hiding inside you. That's weird. That's a weird thing to say. But anyway, it's out there. I'm not going to edit that out. Hello, my friend. Come on in. Seat saved for you. Uh, I missed you. Today, uh, the operative word, the magic word, boobs. By the way, every time I say boobs, take a shot just for fun of whatever. You don't have to get drunk. I, I, I honestly don't promote um, uh, drinking to any kind of excessive degree. Of course, enjoy yourselves responsibly. But every time I say boobs, take a drink. And then leave me a comment after... You've taken all those drinks, and, and I want to see we'll see how fucked up we get by the end of this, uh, because we're talking about the classic boob-filled movie, Reform School Girls. Wow, wow, wee wow, Boobs. You know, I was never a slip maniac, but I've become one. I really like this concept. I think it's great, and I think it looks fantastic. Look at this beautiful slip right here. Uh, I'm guessing this artwork was uh, used on some kind of poster. This is amazing. Some kind of poster work um, at some a point. This is fantastic stuff. Uh, and then, of course, the inside is... Th this is the reversible, but this is the artwork I'm familiar with. I have this on DVD. This is... The cover it came with. Unfortunately, this kind of oversells Sybil Danning's appearance in the movie. It's not... She's, she doesn't really factor into the movie at all. What? No! Which is a shame. Uh, but what does factor into the movie is boobs. Boobs, baby. Wow. Okay, let's talk about the plot before uh, I derail this whole conversation with boobs. Reform School Girls runs one hour and 34 minutes. This is possibly the greatest movie ever made. What we have here is a women in prison film that at different times throughout the runtime has its tongue firmly planted in its cheek and in other times presents some really tragic situations. Now that dark story kind of keeps the movie from being out and out fun, adding some really sad darkness to the film. But uh, then the scantily clad girls make up for it because every scene leaves your jaw on the floor. Unfortunately, Sybil Danning is barely in the movie and factors very little into the plot. I also want to give a warning to cat lovers because uh, they probably won't like this movie as a pretty distasteful sequence happens towards the end of the movie that triggers the third act. The Pridemore Juvenile Detention Facility isn't just a place for troubled girls to serve their time. Instead, it's a living hell filled with sexual depravity and violence. Jenny, a fresh inmate, becomes the de facto protector of Lisa, an innocent young girl forced to be a plaything to anyone after her body. Then there's Charlie, a hardened teenage lesbian who torments her fellow prisoners through brutal acts of sexual sadism. But no one instills more fear in even the toughest girls than the sadistic Edna, who, with a blind eye turned by money-hungry warden Sutter, delights in terrorizing her beautiful prisoners. However, the girls have had enough, and things are about to change at Pride Moor. The movie's MVP here is obviously Pat Ast as Edna the Matron. She feels like Divine, and funny enough, Divine did go on to play this role in uh, the second time the, the play version of this was performed. Now, there really is not much to this movie, but it hits all the beats of this kind of movie within the women in prison genre. Mileage may vary when it comes to enjoyment, but... Ozzy, if you enjoy women barely dressed, then you're going to have a hell of a time. Boobs, yay. Butts, yay. Shower scenes, yay, yay, yay. It's got it all. All that you need. As a matter of fact, almost every woman in this movie gets naked. Hell yeah, nigga. That doesn't necessarily make it a good movie, of course. But I'm saying... It, it makes it a good movie. You know, if it didn't have that, it would be weak sauce. But this is a very sexy movie. And thank the lords of cinema for that. Because, gosh, what a good movie. Um, it, it, it needs it. It needs it. It needs three shower scenes. It needs, you know, um, 
uh, inmates in lingerie because of course that's what they would wear uh, in prison. It needs it, man. It needs it. What it, it needed more of was Sybil Danning. She's barely in the movie. She, I think she has like four scenes. No, she doesn't get naked. Luckily, Edna doesn't either. Uh, but um, I just wish there was a little more Sybil. I think that'd be that. That's my one gripe with the movie. But overall, it's a fucking blast. So much fun. Did I mention there's boobs in it? Let's talk about the special features real quick. Here you get an extended making of documentary featuring brand new interviews with its cast and crew. And by extended, they, I think it's less than 20 minutes. So it's not like an hour long or anything. Then you get Pat Ast, Superstar. This is an interview with theatrical producer Ellen Eichler. And he speaks about Pat and uh, how she was originally in the, I guess there was a, a play version of this, uh, which is also included on here. You get archival footage of the uh, of the play, uh, Woman, uh, Women Behind Bars. That's included here. It runs a little over an hour, and honestly, it's it's on it's on black and white VHS, and it's really bad quality. So unless you're a super diehard fan, I would skip it all together. Uh, then you get an ode to Wendy. Of course, Wendy O. Williams, the punk icon, is in this film. You do see her naked, which is fantastic. Um, uh, uh, rest in peace, Wendy. Of course, she's unfortunately passed away. Uh, he, this is an interview with author and critic Brianna Whipple, and she speaks about the life and times of Wendy O. Williams and, and, and how she specifically came to find Reform School Girls because of Wendy. Then you get an archival commentary track with the director, Tom DeSimone, as well as a commentary track with queer film historian Elizabeth Perchel. Reform School Girls, a ton of fun. You're going to have a blast with it. I honestly, I can't say enough good things about it. It's, it's, it's a solid little film. And it delivers the goods. Nice. So what do I give a movie that has butts, boobs, shower scenes? Oh, I'm going to go with four stars. Four stars for Reform School Girls. You're going to dig it. You know, and, and honestly, this movie has a big following in, the, in, in, uh, in queer film um, lovers. Uh, there's, you know, because there's a lot of sort of a lesbian subplot as well. Very slight. Now, it doesn't really go overboard as, as much as I think we would probably want it to. Um, but it's got a big fan in the punk community as well. So, you know, you don't have to be a guy to enjoy this movie. You don't have to be, you know, necessarily a fan of trash cinema. You don't have to necessarily be a fan of punk movies. I think it speaks to a lot of audiences. And that's really powerful. For a movie to be able to do that is hard, you know, to bridge the gap between so many different audiences. I mean, the same people who watch Pink Flamingos aren't going to go see Spider-Man No Way Home, right? But... This is the kind of, I'm not saying this is Pink Flamingo's territory, but it straddles the line between sort of super subversive punk art and a solid fucking movie with good shots, good story, good character development. It's got it all. And, and I think that's a very rare thing to find. Four stars, Reform School Girls. Did I mention there's boobs? Because there are. So young, so bad, so what? This is Reform School Girls. I hope you enjoyed this review. I know I enjoyed watching this film. And one that I'll be very happy to have in my collection and, and revisit often. I have it on DVD, so I'm going to have to eventually get rid of that. Unless somebody wants it, leave me a comment if you're interested in the DVD. Uh, I forgot who put that out. Anchor Bay, something like that. Anyway, time to close the theater down, my friend. You got things to do. I got things to do. But I'll see you again. I hope so, anyway. It would be such an honor to hang out with you once more. Let me grab this curtain, pull it across the silver screen here, uh, and bid you adieu. Take care of yourselves. Remember, I love you. I love you just the way you are. Sending you lots of love wherever you are in the world. Remember, if we don't have each other, we don't got nothing. So come on back. I'll see you soon. But for now, the theater is closed. Until we meet again.